Three, two, one. What's up, guys? SuperDude four hundred. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword HD. Woo! Last episode, we did this, or at least we started doing this. So let's continue where we left off. Woo! Last uh, episode, we we did that uh, bird flying thing. <laughs> that was perfect. You're amazing, Link. Thank you. I think I'm pretty awesome, too. Oh, hey, look! It's my bird! <laughs> Ooh, pretty. You know, Link, sing is how you want today. Uh, and with the weather being so nice... Yes, I will go on a date, I guess. I'm guessing that's what you're asking, Link, anyways. Uh, you think maybe you'd like to, you know, go fly around the clouds together? Awesome, I guess. Woo! We're flying! Ooh, this place is very pretty, actually. Link? Hey, Link! Uh, yes? Hello, I am Link. What do you need? <laughs> Today was amazing! Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together. I'll always remember this. Cool. It really was wonderful. The scene is very slow. <laughs> you know, Link... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Well, guess that's gonna have to wait. What is that? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That did not look good. Yikes. What's going on? It's a tornado! It looks like a tornado made of dirt. Ah, Link! No! Ah, uh, dang it. We got blocked by the tornado. Well, Zelda's dead. The end. Oh, wait. What? Link. I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to mission of great importance. Link. Oh no, it's Zelda! Wait, what? What's... What is happening? Whoa! Okay! Well, that was a nightmare. Ah, oh, you're awake. Yes, I am, I guess. What happened? When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. Hooray! I'm not dead, I guess. Oh, wait, that's bad. But Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? It, it wasn't my fault. It was, there was like this dirt tornado that came out of nowhere. It's crazy, right? A black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. Eh, it looks brownish to me. Like, like kind of like dirt brown. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Well, I heard a noise and she sound it sounded like a voice to her for some reason. I don't I don't I don't know. I see, she was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. Ooh. I'm sorry, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, Daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Okay... 
Although I don't think her Loftwing made it with her, I'm not sure. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Um... Cool. What was that nightmare about, though? Oh! Higher noise. Um... Uh, what's that noise? Oh, wait. Yeah. It's... It's the... It's the robot from the dream! Ooh. Neat. She's floating. Wait, no, come back. Come back. No, come back. Where are you going? Wait, no, don't face through the door. You can't do that. You gotta open it like a normal person. You can't just break the laws of physics like that. Alright. Um, well, I guess we're going this way. Whee! Wait, why is the door closed? Eh, yeah, whatever. Whoa! Um... There we go, and then... Whoop! And then... Uh-oh. It's the cat thing! Oh, so cute! <laughs> ah! Get away from me! Get away from me! Ah! Get away! Get away! Alright, there we go. I think it has sufficiently decided to go away. Alright, go away! You two, go away. Finally! You got a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Mm hmm. Neat. Treasure chests. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, money. Awesome. Alright, uh. Climb back up here. Nope. Link, Link, why do you not climb? There you go. Alright, and then whoop! Come on, let me leap! There we go. Come on! Come on! Let me leap! There we go, and then boom! I have landed! Get out of here! There we go. Ooh! A rupee. Nice. Ooh! Oh, no! The a blue rupee just fell off the edge, no! Oh well, at least it wasn't like a, a red or or one that was worth more than that. Get out of here! I don't want you here. Go away. Here we go. Those hearts were completely useless. Well, that was a pretty long climb. Oh, we made it, I guess. Ooh, where are we going now? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, the door's gonna open! I think. Is it? Yep, there he goes. Woohoo! Let's go inside! First, I'm gonna kill this bat. It's very annoying right now for some reason. Yeah, you're. There we go. Now we can go inside. Woo! Inside the statue of the goddess. Ooh, a sword. Maybe I'll be able to replace this one that I'm holding. Ooh, glowing sword. Even better than non-glowing sword. Wait, what? What? Okay, then. Someone chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Phi is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link, we must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. Okay, cool. The strange dreams travel in your sleep, my sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounds the fate of one evil, of one evil deer. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Okay... To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. 
Oh. Their predictions indicate that this information has a high pro probability of altering your current emotional state. Okay. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Woohoo! Yay! That's great news! And this spirit, Aiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Mm-hmm. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept the sword? Yes! <laughs> I am! Woohoo! It's a glowing sword! Why would I not want it? It's awesome! It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Mm-hmm. And now... Ready, stance. Oh. Oh. And... Whoop! Pulling it out. Woohoo! And, oh. There we go. Point that, and there we go! There we go! Ooh. Oh, I can't actually try use the the strike. Oh, that is so cool! You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Awesome, glowy sword. <laughs> Recognition complete. Master. Link. My master. Awesome! Link! Uh, am I in trouble? I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. Cool. When light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that, that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Wait, that... that monster from before is the imprisoned thingy. It started days ago, the sword that I've kept secret all these years. It began to give up a faint, otherworldly light. It's definitely not faint now. <laughs> At first, I was sure I was seeing things, hair alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. Cool. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Um, knowledge immeasurable? Uh, not so sure about that. Ah, yes, the oral tradition. One of the least reliable methods of information, retention, and transmission. It appears that critical, critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Okay. Are you gonna tell us what it actually was supposed to be? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Ooh, that sounds awesome! Some of Feather's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to be the first. Ooh, 
what is what is she doing? That those are not arms. Where are her hands? She she should have hands to hold things. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet! The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that changes within your blade when you lift to skyward. Once you, have cha once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay, cool. Alright, and then... Up. And down. Okay. Up. Move closer. And down. Up. Move closer. And down. There we go. Sheesh. Wow, it's working, so that's awesome. Thing popped out of the ground. Nice. And here we go. Now we've just unlocked Farron Woods in the Spirit uh, Sealed Grounds. I think I, f I forgot. Um, ooh. Well, it looks like we'll have to go tomorrow morning because tonight is not a good time because. Loft wings do not fly at night for some reason. Although I've seen some people fly with not loft wings at night. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the god goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. <laughs> Duty! I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Okay, cool. That is a lot of story. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in, this, in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this Fi says is true. Zelda's alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Aye, aye, Captain! What we've seen here today defies explanation, but is it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and pr prove the legends true. There's so much. Ah, okay. No, wait, no, no! That's not what I meant to push! I understand how you feel, but this is Destiny itself calling for you. You must not run from it, Link. I didn't mean to push that button. To be honest, Dawn is drawing near, and it's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have, you have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were words you were to receive for the winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. <laughs> mm hmm And... Woo! Nice! That outfit is awesome. So this is where Link's outfit comes from. It started off as a uniform for the Skyloft Knights. And his just happened to be green that year. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Ah. Uh, because <laughs> this wasn't the first one made, but it's the first one chronologically. <laughs> I don't get why he's got, like, chainmail, though. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. The chainmail's probably for, like, armor, I guess. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. 
You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Wow, 20 minutes of story. Not much play playing today. Oh, did I? I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever checked this. You found a blue rupee. It's worth five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet for now. Ooh. Oh, also, um, I know for a fact that Zelda's room has a piece of heart in it. Link. I think we could have gotten it earlier, but we'll definitely have to wait until I get the claw shot for that. That green uniform, uniform looks so adventurous. You sure look like a knight now. The Headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Da 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 da! You got the adventure pouch! You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Ooh! Cool, thank you. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look! <laughs> You could buy some potions and a shield. They'd fit in the pouch, and they might come in handy on an adventure. Link, I just know you'll find Zelda for us. <laughs> yes, I will. To the bazaar! Wait, that's my room. Ooh, this guy has something to say, yes? I heard the news, Link. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me that there's light beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. Woohoo! Free shield! If you talk to if you talk to this guy before going to the bazaar, you actually get a shield for free. You don't have to buy it. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wooden shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all the shields. Also keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip shield, hold R, select the shield you want to use, and let go of R. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Aegis at the Spartan Hall will happily teach you. Cool! Shield! And now I can finally do this! <laughs> Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that descent into the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased possibility probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Uh, potions? I can only get one right now, Fi. Because they only let me have one bottle at this early in the game. You can get it by going to the bazaar! Woo! And this is the bazaar. Uh, there's cafeteria that you don't actually do anything with, gameplay-wise. This guy upgrades stuff. She holds on to your stuff. This guy sells you stuff. They sell you potions. And this is the fortune teller. What's this? What it is it that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I'm a fortune teller. Ooh. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. That makes me not want to trust you. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Uh, I'd rather not. Um, let's just, uh, let's just get a fortune, I guess, since it's one rupee. Uh, very well, let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune's all coming in focus now. Ooh, what's my fortune gonna be? Aha, I see many things all revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area? Some more blanketed in green? Yes! Ah, my eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere! Yes, many trees that should sure serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I already told me this! I could've- I already- 
Your your bro is useless, dude. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna ignore this guy for now. Hello. Hey, you there? Yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least? Hmm? Let me tell you, one look at you and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron bowl. So don't try to sleep late without stocking up. Oh, dear. I forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it to. For some reason, I like you, though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Da -da -da -da! Oh wait, wrong jingle. Yay, empty bottle. Mm. Empty bottles fit in your adventure pouch. Press R to take a look. If you ever get the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item mm. check. So what would you like to buy? Um, nothing, but I might as well just get this. This mysterious elixir is known as the Revitalizing Potion. Simply pour it onto a broken shield, and in moments, the shield will be as good as new. It's amazing! Not only that, but this multi-purpose mixture will even restore four hearts. Uh, yes, I would like one. Give me that, thank you. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. And then this guy will upgrade any potions you buy. But you, you, you need bugs. And the guy that upgrades your stuff, you need to give him materials. And um, since I am done with the bazaar, I think it's time to finally head off to the surface, I guess. <laughs> oh, also, the when the sword is flashing like this, it means Fi has something to say. Hello. Master, the color of the light is visible from here. Yes, I saw. Um, it's right over there, yeah. I can see it very clearly. It's very big. Dive off the ledge and call your loft in from here, where you can see the column of light. It is time for you to set out on your search for Zelda. You can call your loft in with down after you dive off. Luckily for this version, whenever the sword flashes like that, the dialogue is pretty much optional. Because this is the HD version, I guess. And this has been very fun. But that's going to do it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like and feel free to favorite. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't upload new videos. Woo. Nope. Bird, get back here. You're going to carry 20 rupees. Give me. And up, up, up. Yay. There we go. Anyways, as I was saying, don't forget to... Ring the notification bell so you don't upload new videos. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like from me as well as what you want to see from the future. Check out my social media links in the description. I guess see you later. Bye!